Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Okay, uh, you look at kindly with the player. Very good. Thank you for this wonderful day. And we will continue to guide us and bless us. Okay, look outside today. None, sir. Very good. Okay, before we focus to, uh, focus to our new lesson, let's make a short review of our lesson yesterday. So, uh, since last, yesterday we discussed about the use of nail care tools. So, again, uh, what is the importance of uh, having the knowledge and using those nail care tools? Yes, yes. By, by having knowledge and proper of using those nail care tools, you will prevent injury or other. How about you, Michelin? Do you have any idea about the advantage of the proper nail care tools? The importance, either, of having knowledge of uh, using those nail care tools. So you can stay for that. 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 Yes, if you have the knowledge in using those uh, those uh, nail care tools, of course you can uh, you can achieve a beautiful groomed nails. Okay, that's the importance of uh, the proper use of those nail care tools. Okay, so for our discussion, let's begin with a picture. Okay, observe the pictures. What can you observe uh, about the pictures? <coughs> yes, Julie, what can you tell about the pictures? Sanitizing. Oh, oh yes, they are, those are being sanitized. How about you, Michelle? What do you observe about the pictures? Sterilized. Yes, they are sterilized. Okay, so in connection with that, what is uh, do you think is our lesson for today? Do you have any idea? Yes, do you have any Okay. You have an idea about our lesson for today is? Check condition of their care tools and equipment. That's our lesson. Okay. So, why is the need that uh, every time we need to check the condition of those tools and equipment? So, for further information, we moving on to that word slide. Okay. It's important to assemble, sanitize, and sterilize all the necessary items before starting any nail care activity. That's the importance. Sanitation is the application of measures to promote public health and to prevent the spread of infections, diseases. The observance of safety rules in the salon industry can be of great help in preventing accidents and injury to anyone in the salon. Yes, of course. Uh, sanitation is to take is about proper way of caring and uh, keeping of those uh, those materials so that public health will be addressed. That's it. Even you, know, you want to go in salon and then gonna use the people and equipment. Maybe you will not, right? That's why it's very important to sanitize those things and equipment. Okay. So no further, what is meant by sterilization or sanitation? Do you have any idea? Okay, let's see. Find the read mission in. Sterilization is the process of destroying or leaving my organs. Okay, sterilization. It is sterilization. This is a more powerful process. Because we're talking about micro. It's small. So tiny it cannot be it cannot be seen by the naked eye. So blue light or blue or radiation light used to sterile uh, equipment because if you see microorganism, it cannot be seen by the naked eye, it's only seen by the micro. Those are called microscopic organism. That's why sterilization is the the most powerful process of destroying all organisms. Okay. For number two. I need to do the best. Sterilization is the process of destroying some, but not all microorganisms. Oh, remember? Okay. Sanitation, some. 
but not all. Compared to sterilization, that sterilization is all microorganism. So, if you, in comparison with that, too, sterilization is more more uh, more powerful than sanitation. But still, they are uh, uh, what we call um, a way to address health safety of the public, especially on those salons. So, if others sterilize sterilizer, those those equipment, other sanitize is still do the same. Okay. Sterilization and sanitation techniques were are being practiced in the beauty salon involve the use of physical agents like heat and radiation. This is meant by the sterling machine. The sterling machine. The machine. The machine. And chemical agents like antiseptics and vapor to be gone. Okay. What do you think is most powerful? Is infectant or antiseptic? Can you read Julie Bet? A disinfectant is a substance used to control microorganisms on the living surface, such as tools, equipment, and furniture picture, while an antiseptic is an agent that prevents the, the multiplication of microorganisms. Since it is a milder than a disinfectant, it can be used directly on the skin. Okay. This is, disinfectant is a substance used to control microorganism on non-living surfaces. So, it's from, if you see non-living surfaces, it's all about the equipment and tools that is the non-living. Because they're not breathing, they're not moving, they're just constantly in one place. That's the, that's the way of using disinfectant. Maybe the... Uh, uh, Comfort room floors that is the living room, right? Example, the toilet that is an uh, example of a the living surfaces, table tops, uh, chairs, and etc. Well, antiseptic is an agent that prevents the multiplication of microorganisms and can be directly put on the skin. Maybe uh, alcohol, uh, betadine, uh, antifungal creams, like that. So, in short, to make it short, disinfectant control microorganism on non-living surfaces. Antiseptic is used to control the multiplication of microorganism directly used on the skin. So, antiseptic is for human and uh, disinfectation or disinfectant or disinfectant is for the non-living organisms non-living things, that's it. Okay? Below are the step-by-step -step preparation and procedure on how to sanitize in sterilized equipment and metal implements being used in the nail care services. So, in every tools and equipment in the nail care services, there are a uh, standard way of uh, preparation and procedure, which is stated are the following. <coughs> Sterilization. This is preparation of metal implements for sterilization. Metal. Soak the tools implements in hot, soapy water solution to remove any debris or residue rinse them thoroughly. Yes. Because hot water can remove oil, right? Rather than cold water. That's why it, uh, it advised to use hot, soapy water. Okay? Hot water and soap can remove oils. Because sometimes we're using that bit that uh, quick, quick dry. That's it. Number B, letter B is place the tools implements in the 70% to 20% alcohol solution for 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, th there are certain alcohols that are indicated on the label 70% or 90%. There's only the, uh, what we call the advice, alcohol content of the solution for 20 minutes. Uh, not gin, gin is a 80, you can show, that's not, only 70 to 90 percent. Because maybe it can destroy the, because that is a true alcohol, it can destroy the metal, maybe it's the, the skin and the, you know, the damage. Let us see, remove the tools, implements from solution, wipe them dry and place them into a dry, dry, dry. So yes, 
after so after 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 soaking and then uh, soaking again to alcohol remove and then wipe wipe it and then put on the sterilizer that's the proper way okay sterilizer also used to dry dry immediately okay. so that it will not be rust and this one is the preparation of equipment to be sanitized I did it. Anyone? Anyone? Yes, you did it. Measure in which disinfectant has directed. Saturate a cleaning drug with disinfectant solution and wipe and dry surface area of equipment. Wipe the surface with paper towel to dry it. Dispose of sanitizing solution and use towel. Okay. Those are the preparation of equipment to be sanitized, okay? Read direction of on this intact fan. So, for example, in uh, using such chemicals or using in this injection, you need first the label before using because maybe uh, some advices to use uh, face mask or uh, hand support like gloves. Because some disinfectant is very powerful, it can damage the skin, okay? This one is preparation of the sanitizing jar. It says, clean sanitizing jar with disinfectant and wipe it dry. Place then place thin layer of sterile cotton on the bottom of the jar. Remove implements from wet or dry sanitizer and place them into the jar. Handles up except for metal nail files. Fill jar with 70% to 90% alcohol solution to cover cutting edges and tips of the orange so stick. So, uh, for example, you need have a sterilizer, you can use a jar, but just by just putting all tools inside and then putting in alcohol and soak it for 20 minutes. Okay. All vacations should maintain a high standard for person high, personal hygiene. Wherever possible, use disposable products. Make sure that the, the client's safety and comfort is improved by using tools and equipment which are in good condition and that tissue is provided with the appropriate personal protective clothing. That's why if you're going to a very uh, salon that uh, uh, the the cost of their uh, operation is very expensive, your pain is that the is that their uh, performance bad because of those precautionary measures that are applied there. You are safe because the equipment are sanitized. So that's why you're gonna pay paying highly than in a local salon. That's the difference. So you understand now why raise our cottage or the salon uh, manicuring financial services is too expensive because of this having practice, not only the ambience. Okay? You're paying for this service. Next. Tools and equipment are checked to thoroughly to identify those which function efficiently and those which are made not functional. Tools and equipment are yes. It is also advised to check those tools and equipment so that you can see if uh, others are functioning. Uh, like for example, if, uh, if you can see that critical nipples are done, okay, you need to sharpen as well as the others, the like the all clippers and so on. So it's quite for daily check. Okay. After every working session, the following should be done. Okay. If you are working in a salon, these are the following uh, steps so that we will maintain the cleanliness and the proper storing of the tools, that's it, A2, BCD, and so forth. Okay, for activity, I have prepared here a table. You can come in and check if uh, the following are functioning or not. Get a piece of paper and write down what uh, you can observe. Write down those functional and write down those unfunctional. You can touch, you can uh, check, and this is the rubrics for your activity. You can touch, you can see if uh, it's working or not. If it needs to be disposed or it needs to sharpen. Write down if it's functional and then for its fun is you think it's functioning. Right, not functional. Why do you think that it cannot be functional? Well. Um, 
I will give you 10 minutes. I'll check everything because I put some here at functioning. You should uh, see to it that you observe those non functioning tools and recruitment. Okay, are you done? Last three minutes. <laughs> Last one minute. Okay, are you done? Just pass your paper and I'll check uh, later. So, based on the activity, what we learned, why we need to check the condition of the tools? Bakit kailangan natin i-check yung mga condition ng mga tools bago natin sila gamitin or itago? Why? Kasi isa yung pwede yung ulit bakit? Para? Okay, yes. And um, we need to check so that we can uh, determine if it's still working or not. So that's for the second time around, we're going to use, we can use it properly or maybe we can decide to dispose, okay, or repair. <coughs> How will you determine? How you determine that a tool is uh, still functional or not functional? Paano mo siya may alaman kung pwede pang gamitin or hindi? Yes, of course. If you see the other one is uh, still uh, working, of course the 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 the, the, the sharp the edges is perfect. Compared to the functional, it is some broken parts or either the point is is broken. Okay, very good. Okay, for this activity again, uh, bring out one of the paper and uh, try to answer the following question. It's a multiple choice, so I will give you just five minutes. Five minutes, B. Ah. <coughs> only the letters, just all, write, write only the letters of your chosen answer or your, uh, you think, the best answer. <coughs> For number one, it is the process of destroying all living microorganisms. As I mentioned earlier, this is more powerful because it kills all living microorganisms. So that's the clue. For number two, it is the process of destroying some, but not all. What's that? For number three, it is a substance used to control microorganisms on non living surfaces. Or it is a substance used to non living surfaces like the uh, floor of the, of the sea ice, table tops. What's that? For number four, it's an agent to prevent multiplication of microorganisms but can use directly on the skin. What's that? So, to remember that. And lastly, it is the application of measures to promote public health and prevent the spread of infectious disease. What is that? 
you are you done okay uh, if you done let's see how you learn how much you learn okay Michelin try to read number one and try to answer <laughs> What's your answer? Let's see. Very good. How about number two, Julie? Try to read and answer. It's the process of destroying some, but not all microorganisms using it or anti Let's see. Very good. You got it. And for number three, it is a substance used to control microorganisms on their living surfaces. What's your answer? Sir. For number eight, let's see. Yes, it is. Remember, this infectant, if we're talking about non living surfaces. And obviously, for number four, the answer is. Yes. And for number five, let's see. Sanitation, very good. If we talk about public health, we talk about sanitation. Okay. Multiplication of organisms, antiseptic, non-living surfaces, disinfectant, and all microorganisms, sterilization, not all sanitation, but the clue word for the following. Uh, so try to enjoy in your mind so that in time you will encounter those words again, you'll be familiar, okay? For your assignment, Make an advanced reading of the basic yeah. preventive and corrective maintenance of the characters and equipment. Okay. So if you say uh, make advanced reading, try to read and uh, uh, try to understand those basic preventive and corrective maintenance. Okay. Yes, sir. That's all for today. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, sir.